It's a beautiful sunny day, August 20th, and this car has just rolled over 200,000 miles. That's right, 200,000 miles on this 2020 Tesla Model Y. We're going to tell you all about it. As she chirps to say, I love you. At least I think that's what the chirp means. I don't know. It just makes that sound every time I walk away. I think that means it misses me. Let's keep rolling. I think that's a hilarious intro. Um, I Let's start with my name. I'm Mark. I'm looking to start an interesting YouTube channel. Look, I know there's so many interesting YouTube channels out there, especially ones about Teslas. The big difference for me is mine is my high mileage Tesla. Look, this puppy's got 200K, 200,000 miles on it, and I am adding 1,000 miles a week on average. It's not even four years old. When it turns four in 32 days on September 21st, it'll probably have 204,000 miles on it. Wow, crazy. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is my car. I drive it up to New York City and back every Monday to Friday that I have to be at work. And that's every day that I have to work. Um, it's a really great car. It does not even look like it's almost four years old. You could fool me. Um, it really doesn't look like it's that old, but it is. And if you told me that this was a 200,000 mile car, if you told, no, let me take that back. If I were to tell somebody to wager a bet, how many miles do you think around this car? I'm holding the phone on the wrong side, sorry about that. How many miles do you think around this car? Who do you think would say 200,000? I, I don't, I think you would be hard pressed to find anybody that would guess that this car has 200,000 miles, but it does. It does, and I'm gonna tell you all about those miles. 95% of them are to work and back. The rest are exciting adventures to Florida, Maine, etc., up and down the East Coast. We have yet to do a West Coast trip. It's on my wish list. Um, let's see if I can convince the wife. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about this car, but we're gonna do a cut scene. I'm gonna to go to a different version myself inside the car driving, and we will learn more about that beautiful vehicle. All right, we're about to head into the Lincoln Tunnel. The odometer is at 1,900. Oh, I missed it. Let's start that over or keep going. I don't know. 199,996. We are almost to the 200,000 mile mark and I'm excited. We're entering the Lincoln Tunnel. This is about the most exciting part of my journey home. Uh, at some point in the middle of this tunnel, we will cross from New York to New Jersey. And while it's not the halfway point time-wise, and definitely not distance-wise, it feels like I'm halfway towards home at least. But yeah, we're embarking on a 96-mile journey from Manhattan, New York, to Manahawkin, New Jersey, uh, down the Jersey Shore. And what better way to do the commute than in a Tesla that can drive itself? I should be letting it drive itself. I don't know, I get nervous in the tunnel. I'm gonna let it drive a little bit. It's, it's pretty good, it's got the full self-driving. Splurged on that for 8,000 bucks shortly after I bought the car in 2020. And uh, boy, it makes my long commutes much, much easier. On the way home, I'm spending at least two hours in the car commuting home. Uh, on the way in, I could zip in a little bit quicker, hour 37, not quite as bad. Pretty much like clockwork, hour 37, hour 37, Monday to Friday, not too bad. Friday coming home, especially in the summertime, I could see 2.20, sometimes even two and a half hours. Depending on the traffic, it's mostly the Manhattan traffic, but sometimes in New Jersey too. Sometimes that New Jersey turnpike slows down, especially near the PNC Bank Art Center, and uh, Monmouth County, Colts Neck. That area can get a little congested. Today we're doing good. We've only been driving for 25 minutes and we just hit that halfway point. There it is. I don't know if you can see the painted line on the wall, uh, but that was the division between New York and New Jersey. We're now home stretch and uh, <laughs> two miles into our trip. How many miles to go? You don't want to know. Um, because I, I have a detour on the way home, so I don't know exactly. But probably uh, 94 miles to go. Probably 94 miles to go. We're now heading up the hill. 
I love seeing my peak efficiency at the bottom of the hill. It's usually a nice number, 245 right now. That's not bad. It'll climb back up into 300s as we get out of the tunnel and approach the helix on our way back out into New Jersey. In time, I'll have a camera here that's pointing this way. You can see the map and the screen and all that useful info. Some of those YouTubers do a great job getting all that info in one concise place. Gosh, that is something uh, I should probably learn how to do if I want to do this right. And I do want to do this right. It'd be fun to get a uh, great, exciting, fun, riveting, if you will, uh, YouTube channel going and uh, X following, perhaps. And uh, I guess the goal is to make more of my time spent in the Tesla. Uh, my Tesla time is nice. You know, hey, if I got to be in a vehicle commuting from New York to New Jersey for three and a half to four hours each day, gosh, this is the car to be in. Uh, this Model Y is a workhorse. It is my Rocinante. If we didn't name her Mystique, I would have chosen to name this car Rocinante, uh, the workhorse of Don Quixote. Uh, but it's great. It does my commute I'm like a champ. I left home 96 miles ago, 27 kilowatt hours ago. Got to work 94 miles later. We're driving now two miles in and uh, doing that commute, doing that commute. I wish there was a better way to do this commute. The, uh, the trains and uh, planes, no, they don't run. It's only the automobiles that will get me <laughs> from home to work at the hours that I need to be at work. I need to be at work at 4 a.m. I'm done at noon. It's now noon 30, driving home under the Lincoln Tunnel. And uh, yeah, going into work, I don't have a lot of people to contend with. There's not much traffic. Cars having a little trouble with the dividers now. I'm gonna take manual control as we come out of the tunnel. Full self-driving gets a little nervous when these little uh, annoying barriers pop up in the middle of the tunnel. You cannot see them from your point of view. I'm sorry about that. I will rectify that by adding more cameras. More cameras is the solution. As we know, eight cameras gets the job done. I thought maybe I could do a YouTube channel with one camera, but maybe I need two or three, maybe. Oh, it got bright, everybody. Bear with me as I throw on some sunglasses. Tesla, take the wheel. No? No. Oh, it does not like these line markings out of the tunnel. They are a mess. That's okay. We'll help her along. We got this. Go, go. All right. Yeah, we're cruising on up out of the tunnel. Watt hours per mile is up into the 330s now as we power on up this helix. Wee In time with a better camera placement, you'll see the beautiful New York skyline. Oh, what the heck. I'll tilt the camera over. You can see the New Yorks. Look, it's New Yorks. on the next straightaway. I'll re-enable the full self-driving uh, right around this curve. There's just a big pothole here that I like to avoid. Uh, one of the joys of commuting into New York City is potholes. Full self-driving uh, is not the most adept at avoiding potholes. Uh, it tries, certainly. Every now and then I, I see it make an effort, but oh no, it just it ate that one. No, I was not feeling it. Uh, it's also not the best with uh, maintaining assertiveness in the city. Sometimes you gotta just be, keep on the throttle. I shouldn't say throttle, I'm sorry, keep on the accelerator um, to avoid letting too many people sneak in and around you. Even on the most assertive setting, the full self-driving is not quite there. Um, three choices, okay, that's all right. Assertive, mm, normal, sure. But um, why not like a 1 to 10 scale, uh, dial that in, dial that into people's liking. Uh, finely tuned, just like the neural nets can be finely tuned. I propose giving the drivers, or in this case, the uh, full self-driving supervisors, give them the choice to dial it in to their liking. This way, when they're supervising, they're, uh, they're a little less nitpicky. Ooh, let's see what our mileage is up to. I feel like we're getting close. Oh, 199, 998. This is exciting. This is exciting. 199, 999. All right, one mile to go here. 
Uh, we will be an average speed now of about 60 miles an hour. So we're 60 seconds away from seeing this vehicle, this 2020 Tesla Model Y, roll over 200,000 on the odometer. Sure is exciting. Uh, I'm gonna give it about 30 seconds, then I'll flip the camera away from this beautiful view and I'll let you see the screen of the odometer actually flipping over, because gosh, that's gonna be the exciting part. That's gonna be the exciting part. All right, here we go, flipping the camera around. And we're back, you're enjoying a beautiful view in the Tesla Model Y. As that odometer is about to roll over from 199, 999. Let's get you a better view of those numbers. So, uh, the car was acquired September 21st in the year 2020. Um, it's 47 months old, one day shy of 47 months old. In 31 or 32 days, gosh, I should know how many days are in this month, I don't. Oh, what happened? We rolled it over, everybody. We roll it over as we go through the toll booth. Um, we, we now have 200,000 miles on this car. Holy cannoli. Let's throw it in the full self-driving so we can appreciate this feat. Wow. We are paying attention to the road, of course. I'm just holding my phone in the general direction of the screen, promise. And uh, look at that, 200,000. I am so excited to see that. 200,000 miles. Gosh, it has been quite the journey owning this car through all that time. A lot of fun commuting to the city and back. Um, I say that a bit tongue in cheek. Hey, um, would I rather have 100% work from home, make the same amount of money for the same amount of work? Sure. Um, is that possible right now? No. Um, I need to be at work in person to do that work if I want to have that job. But that's okay because uh, we got a really fun car that can take us there and back. At least for a little bit longer. Um, 200,001 mile. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. I am just pumped to see that. You'll notice that um, we're a little overdue for a Disney trip. It was uh, about a year and a month, maybe a year and two months. Uh, the last time we went to Disney, you'll notice that was 56,000 miles ago. And uh, since then, our uh, average economy is pretty good, 279 watt hours per mile. However, our lifetime average is at 285. Ironically, today's average since the last charge, also 285. Go figure. Wow, so exciting, 201,000 miles. But I'll tell you, this is the car you want to be in if you have a commute like mine. Uh, I do push the limits of just how much uh, of a commute you can get out of this particular model. This Model Y was advertised with 316 miles of range when new, and hey, that's not bad. Um, but now, the most I can get uh, on a full charge this morning, I let it get to 100. Not like the toll plazas. No, not like no. these little squirrely cage things. They freak it out. Okay, now that we're past there, we should be able to re engage our autopilot. There you go. No, it's <laughs> still wants to go that way. That's a different problem. The internal guidance says keep left, but it's wanting to go to the right. Does it know something I don't? Well, what can I say? That really should just be showing more of the scenery. Are we crooked? I feel like we're crooked. I'm getting the, the camera view back now. This is good. I'm able to see what it sees, and that, that can be super helpful. All right, so, yeah, we're getting a lot of window, but that's okay. You get the scenery going by. Maybe a little bit less of my arm there, but uh, 
Yeah, we're figuring out the camera placement for the ideal uh, talking to the phone, talking to the camera as we're driving. In this case, we're talking to my phone. Gosh, I miss my phone already. As soon as I start using my phone to record something, uh, I suddenly realize just how much I miss it. If it's not within reach, if I'm not seeing it, or in the car, if it's not showing a Waze map, um, I just feel lost. I, I get nervous. Where is my phone? It's right there. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. I just, I want to see the other side. I want to see the screen. What am I looking at? I don't know. I want you showing me what the uh, camera sees, but uh, it's different than what the screen is. I want to see the screen. It's just the uh, that inner part of your brain that wants to know what your phone is up to. It's very interesting. But how quickly we'll switch this phone out for another come September or October, whenever the uh, newest iPhone drops. We do an auto chat. Uh, not quite sure what I was trying to say there. We were making an auto lane change to the left has deemed the car in front of us to go too slow. That car is too, too slow. Anyway, I should be talking more about this Tesla, why we're in it right now, and uh, what this car has done for me in the 47 months that it's been a part of my life. It's uh, been very exciting. You know, I wonder how long ago it was that I ordered it. I don't I think I had to wait much more than six weeks, so I probably did order this car a full four years ago. That's pretty wild. Come September 21st, it will have been in our possession for four full years. And by that time, I estimate it'll have 204,000 miles on it. Yeah, we rack up the miles. The funny thing is, when we go on vacation, you'd think I'd want to get away from driving. But, uh, <laughs> what do I do? I drive to Disney thousand miles there, thousand miles back. Oh, sometimes I like to go to the Florida Keys. That's only 1,300 miles one way. Uh, and with the up and down exploring you do when you're in the Keys, that's easily 3,000 miles round trip. And if you're just doing that in a week, that's a lot more than the thousand miles I normally put on my car in a week. That's right, you heard right. <laughs> I put a thousand miles on my car each and every week. I know, it's crazy, it's preposterous, uh, but when you have a crazy 190 mile commute, uh, it's very easy over five days to get 950 miles on the odometer, and then you just do a little bit of weekend driving and boom, you're there, you're over a thousand. Uh, let alone throwing in weekend drives or exploration or adventures, yeah, that'll definitely get up there. I feel like I should zoom the camera in, but by the same token, I am in the middle of the frame. I guess it's okay. These people are not happy with me being on the left side of the construction zone. Oh, construction zone ended. Good news. Nothing better than getting out of a construction zone. I do love that feeling. Oh, it's a little windy, though. A little bit windy. Oh, I remember now why the car kept wanting to go to the right earlier. Silly me. Remember, uh, my, uh, whether or not I cut out this part of the video depends on whether or not I cut out an earlier part of the video where I said I was making a detour. We'll ignore that. Uh, and the detour is why I should have been over there in the locals instead of over here in the express. But that's okay. I'll have an opportunity to cross over in 2.3 miles. Uh, you know, the car will have the opportunity. It'll do that. It's done this crossover before, and it's not bad. Um, it takes it pretty well. A little slower than I would, but that's well within the reason. Uh, well within reason. I'm okay with that. People are quick to judge the car on being too slow or too hesitant. Uh, the important thing is that it is hesitant. Uh, I'd rather it be hesitant or unsure or proactively safe then the opposite. Uh, nobody wants to take unnecessary chances or risks. Granted, there's times when it's fun to put the pedal to the metal um, and accelerate up to 100 miles an hour. Look, I'm not saying that every Friday on my way into work, when I get on the parkway, I enjoy a brisk acceleration up to speed. Um, I don't do it all the time because it ruins my efficiency for that day, for that part of the commute. 
my watt hours per mile quickly enter the 300s and that makes me sad uh, because my usual game is try to get a really good watt hour per mile and uh, try and get to work with more than 50% so that I can get home without having to charge. That is the name of the game. Uh, in the spring, summer, fall, that's not too hard. In the winter, it gets a little more challenging. I only have about 265 miles to play with these days on a full charge, so I will generally charge the car to 100% uh, almost every workday because I do need it. Uh, the trick is not to let it sit at 100, and honestly, I don't even really like to let it get there. Maybe once or twice a month, I'll let it get to 100, but most of the time when I charge to 100, it never gets there. Uh, my goal is to adjust the timing of the charge by moving the amp supper down so that the car finishes a half hour later than when I plan to leave for work that day. So if I plan on leaving for work at 2 a.m., I'm gonna time that charge to finish between 2 and 2.30. My goal is to leave with a 99% full or more battery. This way, um, the battery's as full as it can be, and also it never quite touches or sits at 100. Sitting at 100, especially sitting at 100 for hours at a time, is really what does a lot of the worst damage to the battery, especially when it's hot. Thankfully, most of the time when I'm charging to 100 and when the battery's spending them any considerable amount of time at 100, it's generally colder weather. Uh, when it's nice out, I don't usually need to charge to 100. In the summertime, I can get by charging to 95 maybe 92. Uh, with this commute though, I do need the miles. Let's re-engage autopilot here. Take our mind off driving. It's a little bit easier to think and talk out loud when you're not driving, just supervising. Much, much easier. Anyway, lost my train of thought a little bit there. That's okay, these things happen. But yeah, digging the car, excited to weave this YouTube video together. Hopefully these tangential ideas can uh, get put into a video that makes a little bit of sense. A little bit of sense, oh gosh. I'm also gonna have to practice talking to myself or talking to the YouTube audience, the X audience. I'm still not even sure where I should put these things. I guess in both places. Both places seems like a smart way to go. Hey, let's, uh, let's take this opportunity to wrap up the video. We're still recording. All right, let's keep it simple. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch up until this point in the video. Um, gosh, I cannot believe my car has 200,030 miles on it right now. They have flown by. It feels like just yesterday it had the first 30 miles on it driving it home from the dealership. I shouldn't say dealership. That's a naughty word from the Tesla Service Center. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate getting to share these thoughts, put them out there with the world, let people know what it's like to have a high mileage Tesla and push it to the limits, driving a ridiculous distance each and every day. Uh, I plan on sharing frequent updates uh, with my car, with my commute, what it's like to drive uh, three and a half to four hours in a Tesla, five days a week, 20 to 22 days a month. Uh, I'm not sure how many days a year it is, but it's a lot. It's a pretty big number. I don't get all that much vacation, but that's okay. I enjoy my work, and uh, I hope my work enjoys me. <laughs> I know a lot of people like to work during their work hours and uh, have a side hustle, and I think that's smart. That's cool, uh, but I get nervous. Like, you know, most workers, employers don't like you having a side hustle, but they really don't mind what you do during your commute. So if I have a three and a half hour commute, Gosh, what am I going to fill that time with? I can only listen to so many interesting things and watch so many uh, interesting YouTubes. Why not make something and share it with the world uh, with a small portion of that commute and uh, maybe give some people some interesting information. So that's my goal. And uh, for names, we're still brainstorming, uh, but hopefully we land on something fun soon. Let's stop the video now. All right, we're back. It's that magical part of the day where I am three minutes or less from home. Ah, what a good feeling. How far did we drive today? Well, today we're up to 189 miles. 51 kilowatt hours used. Not too bad, not too bad. We'll be getting home with 41 miles left. 
or about 15%. We left with uh, 100 today. I think I let it get all the way to 100, somewhere around there. Gosh, this has been a lot of fun getting to share this video with you. I'm looking forward to making some improvements in my routine, maybe make the videos a little bit better, get a nice little clip on microphone, a couple other little doodads, you know, ways to improve the video, um, make it fun, make it interesting. Of course, it comes down to the content, sharing the right and important information. But along the way, it's good if you can have some fun, have some good scenery to look at, and uh, yeah, I wanna get the camera that shows the autopilot driving, because it's doing a good job driving now, it's driving home. It took the exit off the parkway a little fast, but then it, uh, it compensated, it compensated well. I lost my mechanical pencil, it's on the floor somewhere. That's okay, it's my fault for having it out in the open when uh, Mystique is doing the driving. <laughs> oh, we're down to the last half mile, last half mile. But we're gonna keep going. We're gonna go all the way until we get out of the car and plug it in. You know, I feel like the ending shot of the video should be plugging the car in, right? I feel like that should work out well. Hey, here's an idea too. Next time, we're not gonna brainstorm any ideas out loud on the video. We're gonna do that on pen and paper ahead of time. And uh, I think that will make the video a little more interesting. Maybe you like the thinking out loud. You know, I guess the most important thing now is to ask for you to give me some comments and some feedback. That would be incredibly valuable. Um, I don't care if you liked the video or not. Don't hit like, that's not important. <laughs> that came out wrong. What is important though is feedback. Leave some comments for me. Let me know if what I said makes sense, if what I said was helpful. Uh, let me know if I look stupid, if the angle's wrong. Mark, why are you using a wide angle camera? You're a big fella. It's not showing the best side to you. Hey, give me that information. Let me uh, get the best shot I can get uh, to present that information I can while I'm driving home. Uh, as we now approach home, we're 400 feet away. Uh, gosh. It's been an exciting day. Rolling the odometer over to 200,000. Wild. The car does not pull in my driveway. Um, I just don't have that feature yet, or it doesn't like my driveway maybe. I've got pavers. Um, it's a slightly different driveway. That could be part of the problem. But we're backing up into the driveway now. There we are. All right. This sure has been a lot of fun. Let's pop out of the car and plug it in. I feel like we're on Mr. Rogers and um, it's that time where we're starting or ending the show. We're putting our shoes on on the sofa. Here she is. Beautiful vehicle. It's, it's really served me well and I'm proud to call it uh, my favorite car. But the time has come to plug her in. and to end this wonderful chat. Thanks for sticking around to the end. And um, I promise to bring you some more good videos in the future. But for now, signing out.